Hi everyone, here are a few drills to help you work on throwing while we can't be at the field together. So for these drills, you can use really any ball you can find around the house that looks or resembles a softball. Um, I'm using an actual softball, but you can also use a tennis ball or you can even take some socks and roll them up in a ball if you want to do it indoors. So for this drill, we're going to start with wrist flicks and you're just working on the end of your throw where you're coming through and you're just releasing with your wrist. So for these, you start facing a wall or you could face another person. Um, and you want to start with the ball up high and your elbow at a 90 degree angle or like right angle. Um, and you want to have your glove under your arm to, just to remind you and to keep a little support. And then you just come through and you flick your wrist. And the goal for this drill is to get the ball rolling off your fingertips. And you want to get as much spin as you can. So you can do these a few of these. And then once you're warmed up, you can move on to the next drill. So these are just getting the end of your throw. So after you've done your wrist flicks, you can move back to the next drill in our progression. So for this drill, you're going to get down on your knee. And for a righty, that's going to be your right knee, and a lefty, that's your left knee. So when you get onto your knee, you want your body to be at a little bit of an angle. So you don't want your foot directly pointing at your target. So this is my angle. And what you're going to do now is you're going to take this wrist flick and you're going to add on. So we're going to come back all the way to making our L back here, the L I have. And you want your ball facing backwards. And you're going to come through and you're going to point at your target. And you're going to come through and throw through the ball. So when you're throwing, after you let go of the ball, you want to be touching your toes. So it looks something like this. So after you've done your wrist flicks and your knee throws, you can step back and move to your feet. So for this one, we're gonna start facing sideways and we're essentially working up and breaking down a full throw. So for this, we start and we start with our hands together and we call this zipper because it looks like a zipper opening up at your coat. So we go through zipper and then we move into airplane. Your arms are straight across. So you go zipper, airplane. And then once you get to here, you end with step, and throw and you want to be releasing at your target and coming down and following through so it looks something like this zipper airplane follow through. zipper airplane follow through and then once you practice them you can get going fast and make it all one step so it looks something like this